Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is GSQ Zeus, if you didn't already know, and today I'm going to give you guys a wall bounce breakdown as well as the new wall bounce tutorial. I just wanted to get it off my chest real quick. I want you guys to understand, I still will be doing a hand cam wall bounce. Next week when I get paid, I will go buy a new webcam, so that will be an advanced version. This is just about all the questions I've seen, and I just want to break down the wall bounce basics, how to control yourself, how to get faster, as well as the new wall bounce. So basically what I notice is a lot of people think wall, the best way to wall bounce in this game is pushing your left analog stick forward and then using your right analog stick to go left to right. So basically this is how it looks. So you can do that. If you hold your left analog stick forward, you can still bounce and go back to forward. It's just, you know, it stays off the wall. There's less angles. It's not a bad bounce, but I've noticed a lot of people think that's the best way to bounce. Now, I'm not knocking you if you bounce that way. Power to you. But I want to break this down. And I know I've done wall bounce tutorials, but I think this is going to be my best breakdown. So now we're just going to do casual wall bouncing. First off, I want to I want to say this for the basic people. You have to learn how to slide and cover and be able to pull out of cover. The main thing is to be able to slide in the cover and pull back before you hit the wall. Pull back before you hit the wall. So practice practice that in private for a little bit on your own, you know, just practice hitting the wall, pulling back, hitting the wall, pulling back, hitting the wall, pulling back. One more thing guys before I get more into the video, I do want to explain I do play claw default. Claw means my index finger is on A so I have more versatility and here's my controller settings. I play on 30, 30, 30, 10, 10 AM acceleration, 0, 0, default, everything else is normal. So yes, I do recommend playing high sensitivity to bounce fast and to be able to recreate what I'm doing, you do have to play Claw, at least to do exactly what I'm doing. I do think it can be done on tournament and with a scuff, control, scuff controller if you map um, your buttons you know, correctly. But um, let's get into it. One more thing, guys. I actually do have a cold right now. I'm sure you guys noticed, but I had to grind this video and get it up because that's what we do. So um, after you start getting used to pulling off the wall, you know, pulling off the wall, you're going to want to practice side. You're going to want to, you know, practice your angles, you know. And I notice a lot of people, like I said, just want to go forward, left, right. That's how the way the bounce can't or the, the cool down bounce works is when you're going forward. So if you just hold forward and go like this, there's only a certain amount of bounce speed you can get. If you practice pulling off the wall, once you get that in a rhythm and you can just go like this, not saying you can bounce like this, I mean this is a little bit of bounce, but once you get that rhythm down, which is just hitting the wall, pulling back on your left analog stick, hitting the wall, pulling back on your left analog stick. Once you get that, you're going to start working on the hit, pivot, hit, pivot, hit, pivot. You want to practice that, maybe throw some strafe in there, hit, pivot, shoot somebody, hit, pivot, shoot somebody. This will work on your accuracy as well as muscle memory to be able to bounce at the wall, but using accuracy and moving your player. Once you get that down, you're going to throw a little bit of a left in there. So what I'm trying to say is you have to understand it's more about pullback and using both your analog sticks at the same time. So I'm going to use my left analog stick to push me forward and to bring me back. But then I'm going to use my right analog stick to look left and look at this wall and then go back to left analog stick forward back. So the only time you're using your left analog stick is to pull off the walls and you know and to pull back bounce. Then that's where your right analog stick comes in where your look sensitivity is. You want to hit the wall, pull off, go to the other one. Hit the wall, pull off, go to the other one. Hit the wall, pull off, go to the other one. Hit the wall, pull off, go to the other one. You want to make sure that you pull off the wall before you start going towards the other one. So you want to be able to stop before you get to the wall. This is what my bounce this is how I bounce but in you know slower motion. So once you get that down, once you just practice hitting the wall, pulling off, you're gonna wanna look to your left, look to your right, look to your left. And then once you get the rhythm down and just get the muscle memory flown, it will come a lot easier. I know it's a little bit hard to explain without a hand cam, but I do feel like th what I'm explaining here is very simple. The breakdown of the wall bounce in general could be understood as well as you have a little bit of experience. That's why I want to say the cover thing is the only, if you're a new player, that's all you really know is to be able to hit cover and pull off. You press A, pull off, look to the side, pull off, look to the side, pull off, look to the side. Then you practice timing. Then it's about timing and mixing it up. Now, I'll do that in my advanced tutorial, you know, how to, like, angle yourself and do more. I'll give you guys a little bit of tips right now because I don't like feeling like I'm making the same videos. I know I did a wall mounts tutorial before, but it wasn't like this. I didn't break it down like this. But um, I'll give you a little example. Once you start pulling off the wall, hitting the wall, you know, getting your timing down, you can just kind of learn that, like, you don't necessarily, you do have to pull off the wall, but you don't have to go. 
It's just about the timing and muscle memory. So you guys want to practice that. Instead of doing the forward, left, right, and just holding it forward, you'll never be able to bounce as fast as somebody who does it this way because this gives you less of a cooldown and more control of your overall character. Now, like I said, this is mostly for claw or tournament or people who have mapped out buttons. If you play default, you can still do it. This is me playing default with my thumb, but it's going to be a lot slower. You know what I mean? You're going to have a hard time. But, I mean, it's still possible. So, um, one more final thing. After, you know, you start, you know, learning your left to right, you know, practice your accuracy, practice looking in the middle. One big piece of advice I can give, this is for, you know, amateur wall bounces. The best way to do it is to hit the wall and then resurface middle. Hit the wall, resurface in the middle. Hit the wall, resurface in the middle. Hit the wall, resurface in the middle. Hit the wall, resurface. And then, you know, you just kind of get a pattern going, and then that's when you hit the wall, go there. Pull off, hit the wall, pull off, hit the wall, pull off. I'll break it down what I'm actually doing. So I'm sliding this wall, anal left analog stick forward while hitting A. Now before I get to the wall, I'm going to pull back on my left analog stick. Now once I get about here on the pullback, I'm, I'm going to turn simultaneously while pulling off the wall. So while I pull off the wall, I then look to the other wall, pull off. Before it completes the pull off, you start looking back pull off repeat that process guys so no I know this is a basic wall bounce breakdown but a lot of people have been asking me just in general how to wall bounce guys and I promise you guys I know lately I've been doing a lot more gameplay a lot more montages but tutorials tips and tricks is gonna be a very big thing on my channel I wanted to wait till I get my hand cam but I will start doing more I should have my hand cam within five days it's probably just gonna be a webcam that I'll set up and you know I'll do uh, live cam videos you know with my face as well as that I'll just use it for that as well as those type of videos but I got one more treat for you guys besides just the general break down and then worrying about speed in the past which is just something that you're just gonna have to learn over time and see me use the hand cam for because that all that is is I literally just told you guys how to wall bounce all you have to do is practice the timing and muscle memory with it and then mix some strafes in there you know doing little pivots hitting the wall pivoting off stuff like that those type of things are gonna help you now I want to do one more trick because I know a lot of people have been freaking out and going crazy off this Quick shout out though to um, S. Kratos Nismo. I want to give him props for being the first one with the tutorial on this. As you guys can see, I'm running out of time, but I'll be right back if it runs out. But um, he did make the first tutorial of this, and I'm gonna link his tutorial in the description because it was very well done. And like, I just I need to start doing like uh, stuff like that. He even put the A B buttons on screen. But anyway, guys, I just want to give him props for it. But um, if you guys have seen my latest videos, there is a new wall bounce called the A B cancel bounce. At least that's what we've been calling you and basically this is what it is it allows you to hit walls and slide off walls and there's no cooldown it's basically like the single pullback bounce you know what I mean in Gears of War 3 but there's more ride to it right here I'm not doing it that smooth but um you know once you get movement going with it and you're really cool it you can do just some crazy things Ooh, see, it looks pretty good you can angle your body and just do some crazy stuff you know and just keep going it's, it's pretty dope because you can wall bounce hit boom 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 wall bounce hit boom 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 wall bounce hit boom 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 but alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and be right back. I'm going to restart this round and I'll see you guys in about 10 seconds. Alright guys, I'm back and now I'm going to explain to you guys the A-B bounce. It's pretty simple. It's self-explanatory. It's just an A-B cancel bounce. It allows you to not work with the cooldown system and being able to single wall bounce. I think it's awesome. I've been going for outplays with it. But basically all you got to do is hit the wall and cancel your wall hit with while pressing B. So it, this has been done in previous Gears of Wars, Gears of War 2 and 3. It wasn't used to this extent, but it was there to cancel movements you didn't want to do. So basically what it does is cancel your wall bounce. So all you're doing is canceling your wall bounce and then continuing with it. So like basically you press A, B, A, B, A, B. It's kind of hard to explain without, you know what I mean, showing you on screen, but it's A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. And literally all it is, is it is timing, guys. Like, I want you to understand. Don't just spam AB. Don't just go like that. You know what I mean? Do not do that. Like, if you guys can hear, like, that's me spamming it, and it wasn't working as smooth. There is a timing to it. That's me spamming it. It's not working. Like, you, there is an actual timing. You guys got to start to feel it, and you got to work with it. But all you're doing is hitting A and can So, yeah, guys, besides that, I mean, it's I'm, I know that one's a little bit, like, hard to explain in terms of, like, it seems like there's not much going on. But, like, it was as simple as that. I just was told, like, all you do is A, B, spam. All you got to know is A has to come before B every time. A, B, A, B, A, B. 
A, B. And eventually you can just get to wall riding. Now, like I also said earlier, I do play claw, which allows me to have my index is on A and my thumb goes to B. So, like, I, I look like a fucking pretzel, but it allows me to wrap around the controller extremely well. So, it allows me to do this and then turn off and start wall bouncing, you know. So, um, to end the video, guys, I know this was nothing crazy. I'm just going to show you guys some wall bouncing here in a second. But I want to do this video because so many of you guys have been asking for basic tutorials. And I'm still going to do the advanced one. I just find it extremely hard to explain what I'm doing without a hand cam. I should have a hand cam within five days, guys. Also, if you guys want to fund anything for the future, for future equipment. I will leave a link in the description for that just so I can create more videos for you guys But more in tutorials more Nash or tricks and tips are gonna come more informational based videos are on the gate way guys I just been enjoying the game and you know I said I want to practice the bounce to its fullest extent because when I did my first wall bounce montage I personally didn't even think my bounce was that good I definitely think I've came a long way guys, but I hope you all enjoyed this video and for those of you who aren't, you know, professional or at least, you know, elite wall bouncers, I hope you learned something from this video and I hope I helped you. But um yeah guys, I'm just going to show you a combination of what you can do. Once you get your wall bounce rolling, once you get things, you know what I mean, really under control and you start sliding with it, you know, you could just be all over the place, use the combination. You know, just do everything and like, generally a lot of people think the wall bounce is just something to look flashy and like, I do agree, it definitely is to outplay opponents though. If you think you can't use this to outplay 1v's, like, I'm not sure what to tell you. But I noticed a lot of people say like, oh, you know, oh, you wall bounce and it takes no skill. Like, I, I, I kind of look at wall bouncing like trick shotting. Like, it's, there's a beauty of it, you know what I mean? It's being able to crazily outplay your opponents while bouncing around like a maniac. To me, that's just awesome. Oh, I forgot I could do it over here too, guys. So it's just like, there's so many good places to do this wall bounce to get you to your opponent. But um, anyway, guys, if you guys want me to break the, uh, the bounce down more, or if there's anything you felt like I missed out, like I said in past videos, I'm extremely new to doing tutorials. I've always been, you know, pub slime. Slomper, slomper, stomper. I can't talk because this cold is infecting me, guys, but I want to make this video for you guys anyway. So if you guys want to see more content, more stuff like this, just let me know what you would like to see personally. And when the hand cam comes, I'm going to have tutorials every other day, guys. Hope you all enjoyed, and peace out.